Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. I did not realise this game quite literally throws you directly into it. It's actually a fairly short game. As far as I know, like everywhere I've seen it says it's between two and four hours, so... We'll find out. It's probably going to be a one and done type deal. What Remains of Edith Finch? And for the most part, this game is pretty much a walking simulator, but... It's also got a very, very good story, so... I'm excited. <gasps> Whoa! Well, there's... There's the book. Ooh. Oh, damn. This isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. Oh. God damn. It really does just throw you straight into it. Yeah, the house that looks very odd. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look at the flower. Oh. I would try and name it, but I can't remember what it's called. Okay, so right trigger is the interact button. Oh, of course. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Wow. Okay. Can I look at them? <laughs> it's just squeaking at me. Urgent. Well, it can't have been that urgent. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh dear. I hope this isn't going to get too sad. Yeah! No trespassing. They have CCTV. I can zoom in. Protected by video surveillance. God damn. How swanky. In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Ooh. A mysterious box. Know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, now we have the first. Oh! <laughs> the Finches. Sounds like a sitcom. Yeah, I'm gonna say we have our first fork in the road. I get the feeling it leads to the same place. I would assume so. Or at least we're dead end. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. I oh, no. Is that really leading us to the <gasps> to the house? Wave! Well, at least it didn't turn around and attack me. That's a positive. Not quite an eerie vibe to it, honestly. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Okay. Horrible memories? I questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Ooh. Whoa, oh! Well, here we are. God, it's such a weird house. Look at it, it's just extension upon the extension. Exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Hmm. Oh, I can't open the truck. But why? <laughs> oh, I just wanted to see if there was anything inside. What is this? Just some leaves. Okay, now it doesn't feel so eerie. The sound design's impressive. <laughs> yeah, like the creaky wood. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Hmm. I mean, if the house looked like this, I'm not too surprised. That bloody frog. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. But why? Why be afraid? I don't understand. I don't know why I was so interested in this. I was like, maybe I can open it. Okay. 
as soon as I heard all the noise, I was like, what the hell's happening? Oh dear. Wait. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, I was probably supposed to try the door first. Oh, never mind. The power had been turned off the night we left. Hmm. God. It's so weird. It's like time has stood still in this place. Cleaning products. <laughs> Auto clean. Oh no, it's dis destructo clean. You've got pride. Eco. Something solution. Laundry detergent. Ah, no actual brand. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay. Stanley knife. A saw. God, they had everything. Bikes. My god. Yeah, the, the front arm must the have been locked. Time in years. Oh. That's tied to the door. I felt like I was home. Mm. Oh wow. God damn. This game also looks pretty damn impressive. Right, so where's the door? But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Oof. That's rough. Oh! Loving memory of Lewis Finch. 22. Beloved brother to Edith. Son of Dawn. Great grandson to Eddie. Memorial service. Finch Family Cemetery. 2141 Fire Weed Road. Oh, right. It actually shows them all. You've got Dawn, Lewis. Ah, uh, okay. Edith and Eddie. Oh, there's a bunch of noise. Oh, wait, was like this? How only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Hmm. <laughs> or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. <laughs> The cat would have been ecstatic. Great food every day. Yeah, what is that noise? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. They had a lot of stuff. So is this the door that I couldn't get through? I never even tried to open. Yeah, whatever. Missing. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but... She never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh dear. Oh, not good. It certainly sounds like the family has gone through a few rough uh, spots. What the heck? Why has this door been sealed? Like, completely sealed up. That's weird. It's like hiding some sort of horror. Hmm. Okay. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Edie is her name. Okay. No, I know. The worst part about when, whenever there's dialogue, I always have to just like look around to see if I can spot where the words are forming. I'm also looking for like interaction points. None showing up. Big ass TV though. Is that stacked on a bunch of books? Or stood? On books? No, I think I think it's stood on. No, it's stood on books. That's not safe. Oh, disgraceful. Can I turn on the lamp? No, I think I'm just seeing things. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Hmm. So what is this? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Ah. More Chinese. Hot damn. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Hmm. Hot damn. There's Noah back in the kitchen. Only holy balls. 
Okay, yeah, that's a lot of fish. I'm not surprised I got sick of it. Jesus. Wait a minute. There be a door. I want to make sure I, like, interact with most stuff. But it's, it's hard to. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. Hmm. So we have a key. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. So I just need to look out for the, the white dots. Every time I actually saw this game show up when I was searching for stuff, I always thought it was a horror for some reason. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why, I just always thought it was a horror game. They had a lot of shit. My god. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Ooh. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> oh my. What the hell? The shock. Molly always seemed like uh, someone I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. What on earth? So we have a peephole into that room. Oh, I kind of want to go back downstairs now. Molly, oh damn, 37 or 47, 10 years old. My god. Wait, so... Crap, can't move any quicker. Yeah, they're peepholes. I didn't realize. But this one doesn't have anything on it. I can still use it. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Ooh, yay. Like an ancient burial ground. How nice. An ancient burial ground of your family. Ugh. So... I went over there. Could go in here. Maybe. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I was going to say it's loading. Great I think Uncle. My mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, man, that's cool. Who's this? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, we have a key. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. <gasps> Ah. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Keep forgetting I have to interact with stuff. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. No, it didn't. <laughs> not when I've not been exploring. I don't miss out on more stuff. Like, crawling through a doggy door without realizing. How was I supposed to know? Who's that? My friend, Bigfoot. Oh! Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Yeah, understandable, I suppose. More stuff. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Good. Don't give me more stuff to explore. Crap. Oh, this is Barbara. God, the ambient noises of, a, of houses are just creepy. Katie's father, Odin, built the original house. <laughs> Odin. What a name. Barbara, 16. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Oh god, that's rather creepy. I'm assuming that's the Bigfoot, but from here that looks- that's terrifying. 44 or 60, so yeah. 16. Why have they all died so young? So it's this one. Sven. Okay. 49. That's still young. Edie. 17 to 2010. Jesus. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Wow, it's just weird seeing that all the rooms are... untouched. Crazy. Calvin. 
50 to 61. There were 11. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Oh. That sounds a lot more morbid than intended, I would guess. That makes it sound like the brother was dead. And just in the room. This one's sealed off too. Wait, are they all sealed off? I guess on some of them it's just more noticeable than others. Yeah, they are. Okay. I mean, it did say. Gregory. A year. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Uh. Wow. They... I'm just surprised at how young they all were when they died. They died really young. Most of them didn't even make it to, like, 20. Crazy. Right, now we can go through. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh, we're in a crawl space. I was about to say, why am I not moving too quick? Okay. Well, it does say Milton, so I'm not surprised it's, that she got that. This, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Hmm. Reading what? Okay. So we have I this. Have no idea what was behind that door. Whoa. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. What a weird house. Compartment? I thought that was an ass. <laughs> I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oh. So this is Molly's, and that's the... I'm just looking at it. I can't even remember what I looked into. This is weird with all the secret compartments and everything. It's crazy. December 47. Ah. Right, well, we have a book. Molly Finch. So what's this? December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh. I mean, this... gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh. Nice. Delicious. Oh no. <laughs> I thought about eating my fish. Wait, it says I thought about. Does that mean I don't have to do this? Oh, I really don't want to, but... I about Christopher, but I held back. Okay, good. Whew. Oh, man. Yeah. Eat your pet. <laughs> that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Oh, God. Wow, I was about to say I can't see. That was crazy. Toilet. God, it's weird. I'm so small. <laughs> Who's that? Eating and eating. Oh god. Ugh. Gross. That's not something you should eat. Oh no. I ate a lot of things that night. Yeah, you probably shouldn't eat those. Oh damn. How many things am I eating? Then I heard chirping outside my window. Oh. Birdie. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. <laughs> Bring me some food. I reached out for her. And suddenly... What the balls? It was a cat. Uh... I was about to say, I can't fall, can I? What the f- I am so confused. Can I fall? Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, that's good. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. 
Oh, there you go. God, I'm glad I don't have to worry about falling. Jeez. That would suck. Where am I going? Going up. Up and over. Oh. I don't even know where I'm going, I'm just running and pressing RT every now and again. What a hell of a jump this cat has. This took a very weird turn. <laughs> Suddenly, I was a cat! Oh dear. I just said I don't want to fall off. Where am I? Oh. Dear. Hang on. Yeah, I think that works. We're going higher and higher, I think. Well, so I thought. Oh wait, I can go over here. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Whatever. Now I was up in the big tree. A I'm huge. Sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <laughs> As I a cat. Suddenly, I was an owl. What? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Okay, I'm very confused. Ooh! So I can actually go down. That's pretty cool. Holy crap. <laughs> Whoosh! I'm just like, do I really have to? I can just do this constantly. Oh, it actually says over here. Oh, I see. Oh my god. Oh no! I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Oh god, did I have to see that? And I didn't chew one bit. I'm very confused. Yeah, was not expecting to become a cat. Or an owl, for that matter. I thought the playable character was strictly human. A mama rabbit. Okay, where? Aha! Oops. I somehow got it, but I mean sure, take it. She was almost too big to carry. Oh god, why? What? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I gotta say, as a shark, I can't really do much. Eh. <gasps> and away we go! <laughs> Woo! I'm very, <laughs> very confused. Hell yeah! Now, I was hungrier than ever. What on earth? Okay, I keep expecting... Fat, juicy seals. Oh! Oh my! I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Uh, okay. No, I was expecting the, like, swim controls to be inverted, but not the case. Where's my next meal? Why am I eating everything anyway? Very confused. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's bleeding! Oh no! I feel terrible. Just keep following it, I guess. Oh, we're nearly there! Whoosh! Ah, oh, I went past it. God, I keep thinking everything's inverted. Ah! Fuck. Wait, where is it? <laughs> I lost it. Ah oh, man! A boat. Oh, there's a boat. Oh, there it is. Yeah, because you can't really control when you charge. Got it. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh. Oh, that's cool. What on earth? 
Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Ah. Lovely. Am I Cthulhu? <laughs> okay, keep on going. It's just tentacles. I mean, we smell people, but I haven't seen anybody. Oh, there we go. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Oh, God. <laughs> God, that scared me. I couldn't see where the tentacle was. Wow. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. In we go. <laughs> Surprise! Oh. Yep, there goes another. And I should probably go out this way. And then around to him. Oop. Yeah, I've got to loop around. <laughs> oh, this is so strange. So very strange. There we go. Mm-hmm. And we became... Oh. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Hmm. One hell of an imagination, that's for sure. Whoosh! Oh, we're going up. Up and up and up. Ew, out right by the toilet. Ah, gross. Especially given the fact that she was saying it was a nice smell. I got closer and closer. Wait a minute. This is... her room. Isn't it? Yeah, this is her room. Without a doubt. Huh. Okay. Nice smell. Oh, there we go. All, All my, my stomachs. Stomach started growling. Ew. And suddenly, I was me again. What? I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. My god. <laughs> Alright. Was not expecting that. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Oh, there we go. So Edith is, well, us. God, we have to fill in every one of them? That's a lot I of stuff. Edie oh! Edie spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. I didn't even realize there was a picture. Crap. That's where we came in. Where can I go? Hello. Where can I go? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Uh. Alright. Well, obviously it's sealed off so I can't go in there. But I can. Maybe. I can't track. describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Oh, it's the thing. That must be the monster that she was. That thing is quite creepy, I will admit. Can I go back through here then? Very confused. Well, this is something else that I've not interacted with. Interacted with. I am looking for the white dot, but... Oh. I was going to say, I don't see it. Oh, right. We're going over here. Out here doesn't look so great compared to inside the house. This 
will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would hey. have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Hmm. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Ah. Uh. Aww. Right, so we're going into another room? I keep forgetting I have to actually interact. Like, you press a button, then she'll just I wait. a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Whoa. My god. So much stuff. CRT! Ooh. Mole man beneath the Finch house. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Hmm. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. I thought that was a butt. <laughs> Sven Finch. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Oh, that's how he died. Crushed. Dragon kills Finch. Oh wow, there's loads of stuff. Edie won't go. One summer, they evacuated the island, but... Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's 